Even though the government was partially shut down for 35 days, Border Patrol agents were still required to come out on the brush and out on the field to secure the border. During the 35-day government shutdown, the Rio Grande Valley sector remained one of the busiest sectors of the nation uh, for illegal alien apprehensions and marijuana seizures. While on furlough in the valley alone, 17,000 undocumented immigrants were captured trying to illegally cross into the United States. It wasn't just constant crossings agents were catching. They seized nearly 900 pounds of cocaine and actually seized over 15,000 pounds of marijuana. And it's not slowing down. For October and November, you're averaging about 20,000 illegal alien apprehensions a month. I spent the day with Border Patrol to see if even despite chilly winds and rain, immigrants would still try to cross. And they did. Muy duro, a veces ratos caminando, ratos en bus, así de jalón con él, y, y la verdad tenemos 20 días de haber salido de nuestro país. Neri Alvarado from Honduras traveled with his 16-year-old son because he says there is no jobs or money back home. Es un sueño americano para poder uno salir a la, que salga adelante su familia. Agents say the illegal activity isn't slowing down, so neither will they. The Border Patrol agents here in the Rio Grande Valley, as well as throughout the nation, took an oath. Regardless of the possible upcoming government shutdown once again, meaning no pay for these agents. This is part of their mission to secure the border, and it's what they do. The shutdown has been lifted until February 15th. Reporting on the U.S.-Mexico border with complete Valley coverage, Sydney Hernandez, CBS4 Valley at 6.